Shan, see this is a mantle from a lantern, you know, the yeah. gas lantern that you use for camping uh -huh. and stuff. Well, it's sitting here under a Geiger counter. And what the, does that do? And the radioactive uh, indications that it picks up are sent over here to the computer, and it's counting them. Oh, How many I radioactive see. particles go through the end of the probe? Notice uh -huh. what we're reading there. Yeah, eight, six, 12, mm -hmm. 14, okay. eight. That's because this mantle is radioactive. Oh. Watch what happens when I take it away. It drops to zero. Mm -hmm. Because there are no radioactive waves coming Well, sometimes out. it might go to one or two because uh, from sources outside of the solar system, uh -huh. cosmic rays are coming in, or some from the sun as well, come in and they're going through you and through me and through houses and whatnot, and every once in a while one goes through the probe. Oh, okay. And also radioactive uh, stuff in the Earth sometimes send uh, background count and right. so we may get Ooh. one or two there, but right mm -hmm. now it's at zero, right? Yeah, it's okay. zero. Before you leave today, you are going to identify what radioactive material is in that mantle. How do you do that? Well, you do that by, first of all, let's move that out of the way. Here are known radioactive sources, alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you put that, they're man-made uh, so that we know they're only giving out one kind of radiation, okay. an alpha, uh -huh. an alpha particle. So put that alpha particle underneath the probe of the Geiger counter. It doesn't much, really do right? anything at okay. all. Now pick it up and hold it a little closer. Oh, it starts at 238, yeah. 250. Okay, now put it back down again. And it drops to zero now, again. Now, what we're trying to do is find out what it is that stops the radiation. What was the, that stopped the radiation here? Just the air. The air, right. So anytime alpha particles are given off, the air alone, the molecules in the air are enough to stop them. Okay, okay. now try the, the next one. Beta. And beta. That's up to 32, 30, 44. Obviously, it goes through the air, right? Yeah, okay. the air doesn't stop that one. Okay, now there's some lead sheets over there. Okay. Take one of them and put it over the top of the beta. That stops it. Right. So the beta can go through air, but it can't travel through lead. Right, and some, some other things will, it'll go through things like plastic and paper and stuff, but mm -hmm. lead definitely will not go through. Okay, try the next one now. The gamma. 14, 12, 16, and the lead sheet doesn't do anything. It still keeps going. No. Try another one. Nothing. How many have you got? Three or four? Yeah. Nothing stops that. Keep going. You can see that the gammas are the most powerful, right? Yeah. They not only go through air, but one sheet, but all those sheets of lead they're going through. Yeah. Mm. Now, have you heard any place where they use radioactivity? Well, I've heard something about cancer, but mm -hmm. I don't know what they use them for or how they use well, them. Well, the radiation, especially the gamma radiation, uh -huh. is harmful to cells because the radiation goes in and destroys part of the cell, so it kills it. Uh -huh. So they use that to treat cancer by very oh. carefully focusing on parts of the body they can uh, fire the gammas in there, and that, that is the treatment for cancer. In skin cancer, they use beta, and you can see why. Yes, yeah, it's they, not they, as strong. Right. So now you've seen the three different types of radiation. Um, by the way, some natural materials might have all three or two, uh -huh. but these, I say, were pure. So right. now you should be able to identify the radioactivity in the mantle. Well, I'll put a lead sheet over what about top air? of it. Well, the air doesn't stop right. it, so One it can't be sheet. alpha. Okay. That stops it, so mm -hmm. it can't be gamma. Mm -hmm. It must be beta. Right, it must be a beta. Very good. Well, congratulations. For the first time, you've used the Geiger counter to identify an unknown radioactive substance by determining what kind of radioactivity it gave off. Very yeah. good.